this was the week where Joe Rogan continued to platform far uh, the far right by welcoming Mr. Meat Sweats, Jordan Peterson, the guy who puts the psycho in psychologist and has gained fame for being an anti-feminist, anti-trans, anti-PC. Racism was invented by cultural Marxist pseudo-intellectual. Uh, they broke down pretty hard about a number of things like race and climate change. Real, real tough stuff. Real interesting things. Here, here are their thoughts. Um, just deep thoughts about race. Oppression. What did Michael prejudice. Eric Dyson call you? An uh, mean, mean, angry an, white mean, man. Yeah, and and a mean, angry white man. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah. You're not mean at all. Yeah, yeah. That's what's dumb about that statement. It's you're not mean at all. It's, uh, I am white. Actually, that's a lie too. <laughs> I'm kind of tan, and he was actually not black. If you're tan, he was what sort the of fuck brown. Am I? Because I'm I'm darker than you. Yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. But neither of us are white. Well, I'm Italian. And mostly. he was brown, not black. Well, isn't that weird? Yeah, this, it's the, really the, weird. The black and white thing is so strange yeah, because like the shades are so... Tan and brown. There's such a spectrum of shades of people. Unless you're talking to someone who is like 100% African from the darkest place where they're not wearing any clothes all day and they've developed all that melanin to protect themselves from the sun... You know, it, even the term black is weird. It's a, mm. it's a, and when you use it for people that are literally my color, mm. it becomes very strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. this is true. Mm, deep thoughts on race brought to you by ZipRecruiter. Hey, you need a new podcast producer, ZipRecruiter.com for all of your needs. It can be tough sifting through all the CVs. You don't even know what race they are. <laughs> what what shade are they? You don't know which CVs to throw out and which ones to continue reading. Uh, I mean, John? Yeah. This is not the first time the two of them have spoken. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I should hope not, considering the content. Usually people with those views on race sort of have to feel each other out at first and then realize <laughs> if you're one of the cool ones. I think they've spoken before. I love two white guys uh, doing racial purity tests on black people. Never seen that before. I mean, where have we seen that before ever? It's it. You you already you you have so. I understand they have to fill a lot of time. I think his show is what like he does like six weeks a day. I think um, he does a lot of talking, so you have to fill a lot of time, but. You were already going to deny climate change. Can't you just make it about that? The, his point <laughs> about like, we're using the term black to apply to people with my skin tone. Okay, because it is not just holding up like a, a color swatch palette to people. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Yes, it is a social construct, but it has economic ramifications, social, political, all of those ramifications that you have. Like, it's not like you've been a help along the way in, in breaking <laughs> yeah. down all of these things for you to then come in at the end and, and point out, well, it's dumb. That guy doesn't look dark enough for me to be satisfied with him being black. How is this helpful and why is this so popular? Yeah, absolutely. And like, why don't you have Michael Eric Dyson on? Mm -hmm. um, and maybe, maybe he will in the end. Michael should. Eric Dyson did respond, but um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, by by yeah. the way, if, if I could just throw in, uh, Jordan Peterson also is a great example of what I was bitching about. That sort of like pseudo academic is always he's always going to do well because, first of all, he's selling like a really cheap sort of victim complex to young men who don't know what to make of their lives. It's much easier to just blame women for why you don't have a relationship or whatever. Um, and also the money is always going to be there. There's going to be right wing organizations that will give you college speaking tours. Uh, your his books probably have some fans now, but he will never have something that's not a bestseller because think tanks will always be there to buy up tens of thousands of copies that no one will read. That's how virtually every right wing bestseller ever has been made. And so it's it is a great gr get grift for them uh, to get involved in. They continued. There's just one other clip we have to watch about um, deep thoughts brought to you by Squarespace on <laughs> climate change uh, it's a, a gross exaggeration and the reality is you know the world sort of always goes through these cycles of change but human beings are definitely having an effect on it but a small effect compared to cows 
and other other things. It's like it's hard to sort out. The climate change one is a weird one. So that well, one that's because there's no such thing as climate, right? Climate and everything are the same word, and I that's what bothers me about the climate change types. Climate is everywhere and nowhere. It is nothingness. It's that's very zen of Jordan Peterson. It is non-attachment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great definition um, that he just made up and no climate scientist would ever use. So you make up it's it's this weird scientific straw man where I'm going to define what your job is, which it isn't. And then I'm going to attack it and seem clever <laughs> by comparison. Although, honestly, um. I'm so glad that your team cut the video the way you did because we talked about that on my show, but we started like six seconds later. Yes. And I felt afterward, like I was maybe a little bit too hard on Joe Rogan, um, but his comment there that I hadn't heard was that we have a small effect in comparison to the cows. Yeah. You know, like other people like cows and mm -hmm. oil rigs. Um <laughs> It's mostly oil rigs. God, those oil rigs, they're just farting up a storm. You know, when, when an oil rig farts, um, it releases a, a methane gas that you have no idea. Like, he is in the year 2022 going, huh, some people say it's it's cyclical. Other people, uh -huh. as in 99.9% .9 of climate scientists, say that the globe is heating up and we only have 20 years left to rain. No, excuse me, eight years left to rain it in. But yeah. who's to say? It's It's... It's just amazing. Look, honestly, like saying it's, um, you know, it's solar flares or something that yeah. at least has the veneer of being based in science saying it's the cow's fault as if there would be seven cows on earth, if not for humans. It's like, <laughs> yes. let's just blame it on the Who's Toyotas, <laughs> not the drivers. The cars themselves are to blame. He said that. And then they just moved on as if it wasn't the craziest thing that had been said exactly. on earth this week. You know, cows, they choose to live in those feedlots. No, no, no. Trust me. You can look this up. You look, look it up. They like living in tight quarters. Um, they enjoy being eaten. Uh, look, I would never eat a cow. We're not that the cows wish. <laughs> What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.